Look guys, the sheep's head. Oh my god, guys, some snook. Some snook. Guys, we got it. Oh yes. Oh yes, I'm recording. What do we got? I'm really, really thinking that it has a lot to do with that eclipse and the moon phases that that brought, you know? Got him. Come here. I got you this time, buddy. What do we got? What do we got here? What's up, guys? Your boy Jay Fishy here. And uh, guys, we're out here. Uh, in these uh mangroves trying to see if we can catch something um it's actually the day of the uh eclipse that's supposed to be here uh i don't know if we're really going to get a good glimpse of that and that's not even the reason why i'm out here fishing to say that i fish during it it's uh more or less because um pretty much i imagine a, an eclipse brings some like kind of different or weird uh moon phases and as you guys know moon phases are kind of a big variable in fishing so i kind of just want to see uh hey if if it's doing good or if it's a bad day fishing uh i know it's not really useful information because i don't think these eclipses come around enough times to actually be like oh i'll go fishing at the next one but uh, hey we'll see what happens uh we're gonna be casting some artificials i got a little bit of frozen shrimp as well if maybe if uh, i'm not getting nothing on the artificials but yeah guys uh, let's see if we can get something let me uh just start with the slam shady put a little bit of this dr juice on you guys know uh ever since i got some of this stuff you know i pretty much use it every time i uh come out here and again there's no specific scent that i would uh recommend yet just because i'm still pretty new to it i just got what there was that day unfortunately it's a little windier than i thought and uh to make it matters worse the wind is against me so this might not be the ideal spot i might switch it up in a bit but yeah let's just start off by casting just slam shady over by these mangroves let's see if anything's moving out there I actually might go to the other point of the mangrove because the wind might be a little in my favor over there. There it goes. There's that wind. Ooh. It's crazy because the wind was supposed to get better as the day went on today. And it seems like it's getting worse, but that's all right. Nothing I haven't been uh, put up against before. <laughs> yeah, guys, like I said, though, I just want to see what, uh, what this... Uh, eclipse is gonna do with these moon phases uh i started looking into it at work today and i told myself i said man if i get off at a decent time i might as well go just test it out you guys know i love experimenting with a kind of weird thing like that and this is definitely one of those weird uh events you know not really doing it well here might be a last cast if this wind stays up i'm gonna just walk a little further down to a spot where uh, i'm sure that a little bit by the wind if this doesn't yeah let's go move over there real quick well what a surprise another day when i show up to fish and the wind is just roaring now today i really didn't want to give up because um it's a solar eclipse day and uh, I just basically told myself like I really want to try to fish this out uh, at the prime times because there was going to be a crazy moon phase around 2 p.m. which was right when the eclipse was supposed to be kind of at its prime I guess. Uh, we didn't get a good view of it from Tampa Bay I believe. I'm not too sure. I was Like I said I wasn't really too interested in the eclipse. I was more or less interested in the moon phases that the eclipse was going to bring because again uh, I don't know if you guys know, but moon phases are a pretty big variable in fishing. So I really wanted to cast everything I brought today and just try it out, try everything, uh, stick it out. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately the wind was pretty crazy. So I was throwing these artificials in a lot of spots trying to find some fish and uh, nothing was really biting. So due to the wind, I decided that I should just switch over to a Carolina rig with some of the frozen shrimp I brought. And this is what happened. All right, guys. Well, windy artificials don't work. You got to bring out a little bit of shrimp. <laughs> I just happened to have some left over from the other day. So I was like, you know what? Let me just throw it in the cooler and take it out with me. You never know, guys. Uh, 
you know, I love throwing me some artificials, but sometimes they just want shrimp with a little Carolina rig and a small hook. Let's give it a shot. I mean, they might not want this either. I will say it's not the perfect, you know, time of the day or anything to fish in. Uh, so we'll see. Ooh, that was not a good first cast. Let me get that back. It's always such a different feel from artificial fishing to a, <laughs> like a Carolina rig, I guess. I do have a long leader. I don't really like that, but let's give it a shot anyways. There we go. I like that stuff. Actually, let me give it a little more line so it can fall right in there. I like being on that mangrove edge just because, uh, you know, even though it's best to free line it over there. There it is, guys. What do we got? I knew that little mangrove edge was nice. What do we got here? I have no clue. Something small. Aha! Good old pinfish. <laughs> Look at that, guys. A little, uh, I'm not too sure on the, I know there's like a few different kinds of pinfish. There it is, guys. Hey, we got the skunk off the boat. Tiny little pinfish. Just something fun to catch. <laughs> I knew that little mangrove edge there always produces these, either these or small, just fish in general. But hey, let's get them back in there. I don't need you today, buddy. <laughs> That's a good sign though, guys. That means there's life around. Whew. I was starting to think I wasn't going to get a bite. That was quick too. Good thing you see that's the kind of bite that I mean if I had my uh, if I had put my fishing pole down, I would not have got that bite. Now I will say, it seems like he liked the whole shrimp. And being that most of the shrimp I have left are small, let's give it to him. Hey guys, you guys know sometimes it's just fun to come out here. Like I said, uh Today was kind of an experiment day for me. Uh, I just told myself, you know, the moon phase has got to be crazy with this uh, eclipse around. And uh, it might do for some good fishing. Uh, I've always heard moon phases mean a lot in fishing. So, you know, with some kind of uh, different moon phases around, might make some big fish come through here or different fish that's kind of what i was hoping something a little different but uh, hey we'll take what we can catch that's for sure well after that pinfish i pretty much fished it out another i don't know 30 minutes and i just kept getting ate by small fish because i couldn't i could barely feel the bites it was like tiny taps so i pretty much decided to put up the shrimp and save it in case it got better uh, later on and uh, by now the, sh the wind had died down just a little so I decided to get the uh, Slam Shady out again and just keep casting around here. Uh, I tried a couple other spots as well and um, I still couldn't get nothing to bite but I was very determined to catch something. So uh, around, he around this time I decided to get the Voodoo out and I told myself, you know what, uh, maybe they don't want a paddle tail, maybe they just want like artificial shrimp. Uh, you know something that's moving like a live shrimp because my frozen shrimp as you guys know aren't going to move like a live shrimp and uh yeah so I, again i was determined to catch some fish on this day uh, i really didn't want to give up so i just stuck it out even with the bad winds uh, i told myself you know what let's just see what we can catch but i tell you one thing guys this i was not expecting to catch so sometimes it throws me off you know but i'm pretty sure that's it with anything you know two set two different setups is you got to kind of get the hang of both and when you switch and you alternate you know it's, it's a little different Oh, we're on, guys. I think we're on. 
Oh no, come on. What the heck? What the heck did I just snag? <laughs> Guys, look at this. I thought it was a snake for a second. Some kind of rope. What's it leading to though? I don't know, let's get this out of here. I don't want me to snag it again. What in the world? Oh, I really hooked that thing. Hey, you know what they say, guys. Sometimes you just find stuff that you might need someday, so let me pick this up. I don't know what people were doing with this. Let me know if you guys know if this is like some special sort of like hand lining thing. What is that? Whoa. Yeah, look at that. They got a big piece of lead on it, too. Like an egg weight. Huh fishing line yeah let me know what this was for guys seems like somebody either lost it or had to get rid of it i'll be taking this home with me though because uh, you never know what you'll need guys <laughs> that was definitely an interesting catch uh, let me know if you guys know exactly what that is it definitely looks like something you use for like hand lining or something they probably cast it out there and got snagged unfortunately that was my only catch here uh but yeah i was like i said i was very determined on this day because uh i just knew the tides were going to get better and the activity was going to get better due to uh the, like i said the solar eclipse so um i just i just kept fishing it out here but uh eventually i made a move to one spot and let me tell you guys it definitely paid off all right let's cast the voodoo here because uh i've had shrimp work here so maybe maybe a, a artificial shrimp will do the job if not, I do have my shrimp pieces, but uh, the only bad thing is they're not free lined. So, let's let that sink. and slow so peaceful and calm today perks very uh um empty today what is that i don't know what that is looks like something as big big as right here not a fish but like i don't know no, i think it's just the shadows sheep's head did you guys see that I hope you guys can see that See me. Oh my god, guys, some snook. Some snook. Oh my god, I just got my. Wow. 
I just blew my chance there. No way. And I got my freaking thing stuck. I wonder if y'all seen that. That was a big school of snow. Dang it. The worst part is I got my shrimp stuck. Oh, now it's really stuck. Yep. Oh, no. I got it. Okay. Wow. I just blew my chance. Holy crap. Guys, that was at least... Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> I really hope y'all seen that. The sun was favoring me, so there might be a, a way that you guys seen that. There was so many snook just came by right there. Oh my god. Wow, that was the biggest pool of snook I've seen here. The sheep's head are still around right here. I don't think they want this uh, fake shrimp. They might go for a real one, but. Look guys. Actually, I think that one's a black drum. And now I don't want to give up on this spot, but I'm not getting a bite. And you guys know how I am with artificials. I like to move around a lot. But it really makes me not want to give up on it. It is a hard spot. Like, even with that school of fish there, it would have been so hard to trick them into biting because you know, I'm literally right in front of them, you know. Whereas if I was across the street from them, I can cast to them and, you know, work it back. Guys, we got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm recording. What do we got? Oh, guys, it's a nice redfish. Oh, yes, come here. Come here, buddy, please. Come here. I knew not to give up on this spot. No, no, he spit it. He spit it. Oh, I knew I shouldn't. Dang it, guys! I played him a little too fast. Wow! Did you guys see that though? You could see his uh, blue tail. Oh, okay. Okay. Relax. Hey, I got to see what it was at least. I'm definitely not giving up on this spot now. I was trying to tire him out so he wouldn't spit that hook, but uh, he still did. Working it super slow here. Let's see if we can trick another one. I knew not to give up on the spot. Look at that, guys. Snook, redfish, sheep's head, all in this little area. This is a, a lot of different uh, species for, you know, a regular day. I'm really, really thinking that it has a lot to do with that eclipse and the moon phases that that brought, you know. Dang it. I really wish I could have got that guy up. But I hope you guys seen that. He had a very, very blue tail. Oh, man. That sucks, dude. <laughs> man, this is so similar to that uh, snook the other day. A few episodes ago, if you guys seen that. Uh, very similar. Where, like, you know, I honestly, I don't know what else I could have done. To play that guy out a little more because um the problem here is like i told you guys this is a very steep drop so um you know it's not like i could beach him or bring him up to the shore i really had to lift that guy but i was trying to let him tire himself out a little more and it seemed like he didn't like that he knew he was coming up <laughs>
makes me think must be a lot of fish cruising through this little spot right now with everything I've seen. I thought it was a snook, I will say that. Man, I'm so glad that I came out today. Like I said, guys, maybe I didn't kill it. Maybe I didn't catch all of these species, but uh, I seen them. And that means a lot for my uh, local, you know, ecosystem, I guess. A lot of people tell me, you know, that these fish aren't here. They're here. They might not eat a lot, but they're here. Like I said, that amount of snook that passed by, I've never even seen that many snook caught here. So to know that they're coming through just means so much. And uh, being able to hook up on that redfish right now just gave me that thrill of fishing. You know, I really wish I would have landed them. But again, I was able to see them. So I knew what it was. I really thought that was a snook. But again, a redfish is even cooler because it's just so many species today that I've seen already, you know. Those are three pretty much, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not too sure if sheep's had considered a game fish, but a uh, snook and redfish are no are. So to see those, you know, it's just awesome. Let me throw some regular shrimp in there now. See if maybe that'll untie. I got some frozen shrimp on here now, just to see if maybe a, uh, if there is redfish here, maybe schooled up or something, they might be interested in some actual shrimp. But we'll see. Like I said, if I, I might just make one of my setups with my jigs on it. Had a bite. There it is again. Come on, take it. Definitely the biggest bite I felt today on shrimp. They clean me out, so that's a good sign. Hey, as long as they're eating, guys, I am fine with that. Those are big bites. Those were not big fish. We're putting some of this nicer shrimp on there now. It might be time to uh, call it. Uh, this was pretty much the prime moon phase. Uh, that came by right now it's probably it's pretty much over so yeah let me do that the right way this time even though something still ate it it would seem to me that i would just spook a lot of stuff it's better to cast it far and then bring it back i know they're hanging out right here Got him. Come here. I got you this time, buddy. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, it's a trout. Oh, it's a nice trout, too. <laughs> guys, look at that. <laughs> look at that, guys. Probably a good 14, 13 half. Get in there, buddy. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Guys, I could have had an inshore slam if I would have got that redfish up and hooked one of those snooks that came by. But man, there's so many fish here right now. That's crazy. Guys, I really think, really, really think it has something to do with that, uh, with that solar eclipse stuff. I've never seen this many species out in the middle of the day like that. And guys, this is all the frozen shrimp. Well, no, the, uh, 
the redfish if i would have got him it would have been on a voodoo which is artificial shrimp but man and i i don't know if you guys will see it but right in, when the, when i got that trout up there was something right behind, right under him coming around it might have even been another snook i hope you guys can hear me i know i'm being very quiet uh, i'm being very quiet because uh I'm not trying to spook anything if it's around here. That was sick, guys. Let's see what else I can get on the rest of this shrimp. I wish I would have waited and had more shrimp now. But uh, unfortunately, I used some of it up trying to catch something somewhere else. <laughs> Probably a, either a tiny sheep's head or a pinfish or something because that was a small bite. Maybe the uh, game fish have left already. I don't have too much shrimp anymore anyways, so I'm not too uh, fussed about it. Oh, here's a nice piece of shrimp. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do the whole piece too. I mean, uh, mainly because uh, it's about time for me to get out of here anyway, so I'm not being too stingy with my shrimp right now. This is a nice one though. There's something out there. And guys, all this is with a tiny J hook. Like, I know I know a lot of you maybe are beginners, like I was at one point. I still pretty much am. Holy crap, there's a nice mud crab right here in front of me. Wow, I should probably take that guy. <laughs> but uh, you don't need a huge hook, guys. I see some people sometimes come out and fish at this park, and they have a freaking shark hook on. Like you know fish are smart they see big hooks sometimes people judge me for using such a small hook but uh i've just had so much luck i mean i've hooked up on just about every inshore species you would want with these tiny j hooks so you know it doesn't mean much to me to use a small hook just had a bite I know you didn't take it all. I feel you playing with it. Give it a good bite, man. Did I get him? Oh, I did get him. What do we got here? Another species or? No. Just another pinfish. <laughs> Man, guys, but you guys can tell there's a lot of fish around right here right now. Careful, buddy. I know you can get me with them spikes. All right. Yeah, it might be that the uh, good game fish have already got out of here, guys. Maybe I spooked them by catching a couple of them. I haven't seen like a, you know, a school of snook like I was seeing or whatever. Another little pinfish. Get out of here, buddy. But man, <laughs> I'm so pumped, guys. Just, just a fun day. Super cool to see all those species, like I said, too. You know, you know, I don't know about you guys, but just to see that, just, I know I didn't catch them, per se, but um, it just makes me happy, guys, to know that they're here, they're around. One day, maybe I'll be, you know, that good of a fisherman to where I'll know exactly when to come, when these guys are running like that. Cause like I said, right now, you know, sometimes I, I know for a fact I come on the wrong days, but uh, it's all about trying and learning. That's the thing. You're never going to stop learning in this sport. Like fishing is something that you'll learn something new every time. Like, let's see if this last shrimp will do us any luck or not. I think I did. Yes, sir. Well, that was it for my shrimp. But yeah, that was fun. I'll see you guys in a bit for a little outro. 
all right guys well there you have it uh just a fun little trip out here like i said i was trying to try uh experiment with the whole solar eclipse thing um and again it wasn't for the actual eclipse itself although it probably has a big part of it but uh the moon phase just uh you know how they said the moon was supposed to cover the sun uh we actually didn't get a good uh view of that i guess you could say i wasn't sure if even it was going to be like that here out in the tampa bay area but uh it would have been cool to see that but i didn't see that however what i did see was a bunch of fish guys like it was crazy and that's how like i said this has already been proven but uh sometimes i just like to experiment on myself and uh yeah i was like man i want to know if it's going to actually make a difference and it sure did guys like i said I, i'm going to include probably all the clips uh however unfortunately i'm not sure yet if you guys actually are going to be able to see most of those fish that came by because um i was able to see them because of my uh, polarized glasses so i don't know if the camera actually caught them i know the sun was hitting real real good on it on the area so hopefully it did so that you guys can see that but man it was i mean nice size sheep's head uh snook uh, the redfish, I didn't even see them, but you guys seen that I, I was able to hook one up. I didn't get to land him, but he was right in front of me, so I knew exactly what it was. And uh, and then I caught the trout. So, man, guys, that's a lot of uh, the nice uh, species that you would want from these mangroves that a lot of people say aren't out here. But uh, I'll tell you what, they sure are. And uh, yeah, um, I just wanted to kind of make a video today, uh, just doing it i was hoping i didn't fail like catching almost nothing but uh fortunately i was able to catch some stuff but again i i will say i brought everything out guys you've seen that the frozen shrimp the um the slam shady and the um the voodoo so and it pretty much all worked except for the slam shady for once <laughs> funny enough that's the only one that didn't actually catch me a fish today but um yeah uh, it's pretty much time to get out of here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh maybe if one of you guys went out during this eclipse uh day let me know if you guys hooked up on anything out there or seen you know uh an excessive amount of activity on fish maybe on a boat or a kayak wherever you guys fish uh, just let me know if if it if it did make a difference for you guys uh for me i'll say 100 it did like i said i haven't seen fish move like that in a long time and maybe it's the spring coming in and that might be uh what has a little more to do with it but I've never seen it like that. I mean, it looked like an aquarium. That's how many fish came by at that one spot. If I would have been at other spots, it probably would have been similar. So yeah, guys, uh, I wanted to uh, thank you guys once again to all my uh, loyal watchers out there that watch all the videos and uh, comment down on my videos. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, every single one of you, no matter how many of y'all it is, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, uh, if you guys can keep uh, liking, subscribing, and commenting down on my videos, uh, that'd be awesome guys i'd really appreciate it even more uh <laughs> but yeah uh, i hope you guys have a blessed week i hope you guys have the best luck out to fishing remember guys always 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 stay positive keep them good vibes going um and also just go out and fish you know don't think about it too much just do it uh, i upload twice a week on my channel so i hope to see you guys back here but until next time guys peace